Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 82. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a little while since I last recorded, just because of time and family and all that kind of stuff. I don't think I have to explain it. Everybody here has lives. <laughs> so I've been trying to get times to film, and it just hasn't worked out until today. So here I am. Jesse is here. Uh, so he might make an appearance. I'm gonna take these off because of the glare. But um, he's watching TV right now. You might be able to hear it a little bit in the background. And he's also in his underwear. So if he does make an appearance, I'm gonna cut it out <laughs> because he's in his underwear. He is potty training. That's one reason I've been MIA from videos. Is because uh, started on June 1st potty training him, and he's pretty much potty trained now. But um, Random accidents, you know, like, especially when we're out somewhere driving around in cars and stuff, and we're out for a long time. But he's been doing really good, but he's in his underwear 90% of the time, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to show that on YouTube. But, yeah, so I'm going to get started. I got stuff everywhere. I did, the last video I did upload was a uh, yarn haul from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of y'all saw that. I, I ended up going back to Hobby Lobby another time after that, and I got some more cakes and some more, um, of the other yarns. I think I still have a clip. I think I made a clip. If I do, I will insert it at some point. <laughs> and um, I did end up going back again just to see if they had more blanket yarn, which they didn't. But I had someone gift me some. And it came today actually in the mail. So I'm excited about that. And it's one of the whips. I will show you guys eventually. <laughs> and um, yeah, I don't know how organized this is because literally everything's just on the table. <laughs> and um, as you can tell, we're back in this room. <laughs> Uh, I moved it around a little bit because I had to make more room for all the yarn that I bought at Hobby Lobby. And it's pretty good right now. So yeah, so I'll probably film in this room again from now on, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and hop into my whips and then, or not my whips, my finished objects and then my whips and then all the other babble later. So I have two finished objects this week. One of them is, I, uh, um, blah, 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 what am I trying to say? Is something I've already made, but this is the second one. And I'm actually planning on making, um, two or three more. I need, Kat wants me to make her one, so I'll probably make two more for the craft fair, and then one for her. Because uh, I made a green one, it's the turtle. <laughs> this one's blue, and then I wanted to make some like girlier colors, um, just so that there's boy and girl colors uh, at the craft fair. And then I'll make Kat one, probably some random color one, because she likes random colors. But um, this is a pattern, it's a paid for pattern by Michelle Estrada, and she actually did start her own YouTube channel. Which, if I can remember, I'll link it below, and if I can remember, I'll put it up in the eye card, wherever. <laughs> But I usually forget the add those. But um, she's awesome. Definitely go check her out. She's one of my newest. She's the newest favorite designer of mine. Um, because she's a Grimmie designer. So far. I mean, you know, there's always room for changing. <laughs> but um, I love every pattern she's put out. And I especially love this one because it's super fast and super quick. And super fast and quick. And easy. Fast and quick or something. But yes. It's Hugo the Turtle number two. <laughs> I made it in Red Heart Super Saver Blue Variegated. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember. But it is Red Heart. And then the, the limbs and head and all that is um, Cafe Latte, I think. And then the underneath is, I had the, the tag laying here to show you guys. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's an old yarn that was gifted to me. I think Becky, but it might have been someone else. But it was, she's, whoever it was sent me three or four uh, skeins of this. And it's like an older brand yarn. But it's, what's it called? Dew Point Acrylic Super Value. Prestige. I don't know where it's from, what store or whatever, but it looks fine. It works fine. It's just yarn, <laughs> and I thought it went pretty good with these colors, and it feels about the same as Red Heart, so it works good. But yeah, so this is Hugo number two. <laughs> I think these are so cute. But this is gonna go for my craft fair. Um, I might actually enter one into my county fair because they do have a stuffed toy category, and uh, he's cute. So I don't know. We shall see. But I love this pattern. Again, it's by Michelle Estrada. And it is paid for pattern. But it's awesome. And it's, I mean, I don't even know how to explain how super quick it is. Like, you can make one of these in a day. Um, I made this one, like, in a day, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's super, I don't even know. You just make two panels and sew them together and put some stuff in it. And there you go. This is one of the easiest big amigurumi patterns I've found. And turtles are super popular right now because everybody's all about plastic waste and saving the oceans. So I think, um... The turtles will do good. I made my two first turtles brown, and I think the other ones I'm going to make a uh, green color. I made them brown just because I have brown turtles around here, although it is a sea turtle. <laughs> but, um, I mean, to a kid, a turtle is a turtle, so they might like a brown one or a green one. Oh, but yeah, so Hugo. 
number two. Put him right there. <laughs> and then my next finished object is another, um, this is a county fair entry. And they have five wreath categories. I'm trying to fix it. Um, every year, one of the categories is patriotic wreath. And I live in America, so <laughs> it's red, white, and blue. It is, you know, red, white, and blue stripes, like, kind of like the flag. And then this is a little piece of, it's like a cardboard thingy from the Dollar Tree. It actually came comes in like a decoration of three of them, different ones, and I just kind of, I took this one off of it and stuck it in there. It's actually, I just tied it in at the top, and it's just leaned in there. Um, it kind of fits in there pretty good, like snugly if you just set it just the right way. But it's got a little hanger on it. The inside of this isn't a reef form, it's actually a pool noodle. <laughs> um, I might come out with a video soon about how I made the pool noodle thing. Um, just because I was trying to find a way to save money because wreath forms are kind of expensive. I mean, they're like $6, but which isn't a lot of money. But in the form of crafting and especially making profit back, that's, you know, the cheaper route you can take without jeopardizing the quality is um, to save money on stuff like that. So, pull noodle, that was a dollar. And it's still a wreath, you know, it's round. It hangs up fine. I tried hanging it up and, yeah. So, the pattern for the actual wreath is the American Flag Wreath by Kara... Gunza, I think. I believe I made one of her wreaths last year. It is a free pattern. And then I just added this myself. And I only added this because I thought it needed a little something else um, to pizzazz it and make it look more patriotic. <laughs> I know that's kind of funny to me because Americans are like super patriotic. Uh, when they're patriotic, they're super patriotic. And I guess I am because my, house, my whole house is decorated with, in um, American flag themed things since Memorial Day and it'll all stay up until after 4th of July. So that's like a good month and a half of um, American flags everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually going to put this up so it doesn't get dusty for the county fair. And I just wanted to show it to you guys. But yeah, I think it's cute. So those are my finished objects this week. And then I got a bunch of whips. I have one whip that I'm not going to show you yet because it is a test pattern that I'm doing for someone. She didn't say I couldn't show it, but she also didn't say I could. So I'm just going to wait. I'm about halfway done with it. I'm a little over halfway done with it. So it'll be for sure in the next video. And if you're on the Facebook group and possibly my Instagram, if I can remember to um, upload there, update there, whatever, <laughs> uh, you'll see it. I don't know, yeah, it's in this bag. So here, it's a sneak peek. It's a little... Well, it's a little at the moment. <laughs> and it's made with knit crate yarn. I'll show you the yarn. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember what the yarn is because Jesse took off with the label. And I haven't been able to find it. But I'll show you guys that one when it gets done. Because it is a test pattern. But my first whip. Let's see here. We'll go with the high tides. Last time you guys seen it, it was circular. Now it is starting to be square. <laughs> I finished part two of it. It is a crochet along. It was free up until the beginning of June and now it's paid for. But it's a beautiful pattern. I love it. I can't wait to finish it. I haven't worked on it in a few days since I finished part two. Just because I've been trying to do other things and I'm getting distracted. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, so I'm making this one. What? Hold on a second, okay? <laughs> He's watching Mickey Mouse. Sorry to say that. Um, I'm making it with Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, and I think the color is scuba. And it's, you know, it's not blocked, obviously, because it's not done. So it's a little squonky shape. But see, it's square now. <laughs> I'm trying to... It is so fun. It looks... It's like the Mandala Madness. It looks more complicated than it actually is. I love the way the colors are working up, and I don't know, the pattern. It's just pretty. I can't wait to finish it. And this is one of those patterns. Uh, at the end of it, it's like a multiple of so many rounds, I don't know, <laughs> repeat. So you can make it as big or small as you want it. Um, so I'll probably finish the pattern for the crochet along. And then depending on how big it is, I might continue to make it bigger to enter into our fair as an adult size blanket because I do have more of those ombres. I think it calls for two and a half and I have four. So I might go ahead and try to put all of it in there to see how big it comes out. And then if it's big enough, I can enter it as the adult size afghan <laughs> in my county fair and then I can make a small baby blanket uh tanner in as a baby blanket <laughs> but I love this I think it's beautiful it'll be linked below um but like I said it is paid for pattern now but it's totally worth it if you love um detailed blankets it is pretty I love all the that's like the mandala madness I loved it so much because of all the texture and 
the details and it it makes it look like you worked so much harder on it than you actually did uh people who don't know about crochet would think you know be like whoa this is amazing look at all the detail and when you're sitting over there like hey, 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 hey. it was the same thing over and over again <laughs> you just don't know that but yeah that's living in my pokemon bag Shwing. Pulling everything up all right what's in here this is kind of this is barely a whip this is a bag that i won from the crochet closet i think it is uh for being her 100 subscriber back i don't know a while ago a month or so ago so it's just a cute little bag but in it is living a reindeer head. Oh, <laughs> it's not even a finished reindeer head. The reason I stopped working on this that day is because it, I got to the point where I needed to add stuffing. And I didn't have any stuffing with me. So this reindeer head is actually, it's going to be an emigurumi. <laughs> it's, um, let's see here, it's called Reno slash Reindeer Baby Rudolph by a word I can't say. It'll be linked below though. It is a free pattern and it's free in I think Spanish and English and it's a little hard for me. Uh, it took me a minute to find where you download it because the main website's in Spanish so you have to translate it to English first and then find where to download it but it's a super cute little pattern. If I can think about it I'll pop up a picture of what it's gonna look like. It's got a big old red nose and that's one thing I drew me to it was this big knows I thought it was so cute but um this is going to be a decoration for my christmas wreath which i'm going to show you guys but it's odd shaped because i messed up the pool noodle for it and it's you know i just did two of them so i'm learning but this is this isn't a pattern because i just did it myself it's, it's wonky shaped <laughs> but i'm going to strategic str why can't i talk strategically place amigurumis and decorations to help hide where it's puckering and um Let's see, right here's the tape, so I need to put it like on the side. I'll probably put the um, the hanger up here, and then I'll put the reindeer right here, and some sort of decorations <laughs> to just hide where it's shaped weird. And I think the reason this did that is because when I um, cut the pull noodle to bend it into a circle, the pull noodle had already been bent. So that's one thing I need to remember to look for for pull noodles is to try to get straight ones that's never been bent before. Hey, baby. I forgot what I was saying. Jesse came up and was talking to me. But, um, yeah, so it's misshaped, but I'm going to hide it with Emma Gurney. And I'm going to keep practicing with my noodles to make uh, wreath forms. And I know this may not be for everybody. Some people will just want the convenience of just buying a pre-made one, and that's fine. If that's your thing, do it. I'm just trying to find a way to save money. <laughs> but um, the, the cover part here is just Red Heart Super Saver hot red and evergreen or something like that <laughs> and all I did was I chained uh I can't remember like 25 I just chained enough to wrap around the pool noodle um just barely because you want it to be a little bit snug so it's not uh sliding all over the place um and then I just single crochet back and forth I did six rows of each color just to make stripes Christmassy stripes <laughs> and yeah so I wanted a red and green base and then I'm going to add the reindeer i was gonna make a santa but then i thought that'd be too much red so i, I thought i'd make a reindeer because you know the brown and then i'm gonna i think i'm gonna put a strand of christmas I'm lights what oh uh, what a giant <laughs> uh i don't think there's any giants outside yeah jesse cam again <laughs> but he's on the porch playing that's why i look real glary because the door's open <laughs> but um that's enough about the Christmas wreath. Anyways, it's a work in progress. It'll come. All right, my last whip that I can show you is a blanket that I started out of some of my clearance yarn from Hobby Lobby this time around. For Jesse. I'm making it for Jesse, but if he's not wanting it, I'm going to claim it because it's really soft. <laughs> but I'm making it with um, Yarnby. Let's see, I got the one here. Uh, yarn Bee Cozy Occasion and the colorway is Cedar Park and it was originally $5 I got it for $1.24 a ball what's that if you're interested um yeah so it's blanket yarn it reminds me a lot of Bernat Blanket super soft the blanket is called the Naptime Baby Blanket it's a red heart fray pattern I found it on their website I found it on Ravelry and it took me to red heart where is that okay so this has got two two whole balls in it and uh i started on the third one so it's real holy <laughs> it's got like a border at the bottom and on the sides 
if you can see that, where it's solid. And then it's like a mesh in the middle. Really soft and squishy. Mmm, it's so soft. Oh yeah, so there's two and a little bit in there. I just started the third ball. And I got three more balls to do it. So I'm going to use up all the yarn in it. <laughs> so it's going to be not super wide, but longer. That way, if Jesse doesn't want to use it, I can use it like sitting on the couch or something. Because it's super soft and cozy. And even though it's got holes all in it, it's really warm. Uh, because of the material it's made out of and the thickness of it. It's still super warm. I love it a lot. This is a free pattern. I don't know if I said that. But it is. But yeah, it's called the Naptime Baby Blanket. By Becky Barker. But it's from the Red Heart website. But you can also find it on Ravelry. And below in the description, I'll have it linked. But yeah, I'm excited about this. I really enjoyed working with this yarn. I would actually like to um, make something else with this. Because the only other time I ever used blanket yarn was that big octopus. And um, I don't remember it being as soft as this. This feels softer than that. And this is a little bit thinner. Because that burnout blanket yarn that I used for that, I don't know if all of it is. But it was really, really thick. And this is thinner. It says it's a super bulky, but I would say it's more like a bulky it's just living in a reusable shopping bag <laughs> that I got. Alright, that's all my whips, I think. All my whips, let me look around. Yes, Bubba. Be quiet. Why is going to wake up? Why are you talking? Oh, okay. Coming. I'll be quiet. But I gotta talk, okay? I gotta talk about my stuff. Okay. There's a giant sleeping outside, evidently. Okay. Alright, non-yarny stuff. Okay, I have notes, but I left them over there. <laughs> One thing I wanted to talk about is Holly at the Proper Pineapple. I don't, I'm sure most of y'all know who she is because she's way more YouTube famous, crochet famous than I am. But she also has a vlogging channel that's called Everyday Pineapples. And I will try to link both her channels below if I can remember. <laughs> I got notes written, so I should write, link them. But her and her husband have recently, um, they were planning on going, traveling around the United States doing missionary type work. But uh, her husband ended up becoming sick, and now he is in kidney failure. But, you know, he's fine as far as that is. You know, he's going to be set up on dialysis and all that stuff. But um, still, they're going to need support because because of him being on dialysis, he's not going to be able to work. And I'm pretty sure he was the main worker of the house. So if you would be interested, it would help them a lot if you would check out both their channels and subscribe to them. Uh, her crochet stuff's awesome and their vlogs are fun to watch. So I would subscribe to both their channels and just watch their videos, interact every now and then, just to help um, them earn money through YouTube also. They didn't ask for that, uh, it's just something that I wanted to help because I know that they're struggling right now, you know. Not only, um, a fi you know, potentially financially because of him not being able to work all the time for being sick and stuff. But I couldn't imagine finding out that Devin was sick like that. So I know it's going to be a huge hit to them uh, as a couple and as a family with their kids and everything. So um, definitely, if you want to, <laughs> no pressure, check out their channels and subscribe and uh, give them some support. And uh, be nice. <laughs> and But she is awesome. Uh, I'm sure you already know who she is because if, you, if you're watching me, you probably have already watched her. But um, anyways, I just wanted to throw that in there. The links will be below. Um, yeah. So yeah. <laughs> Alright, the next thing I talked about. Let me move my laptop. It's in my way. I got my knit crate finally. It somehow got mixed up. I live in Tennessee and knit crate is in Florida. So usually I'm one of the first people to get my knit crate YouTuber wise. Because I'm the closest one to Florida that does the knit crate videos. But, um, this time, for some reason, it went from Florida to New York to New Jersey to Nashville to me. <laughs> Someone it's got mixed up on a wrong truck or something, so it took a while to get here. But it's here. So, instead of making a whole new video, I just thought I would throw it in this video. Now, I said if I got the orange one, I would keep it. If I got the purple one, I would give it away. And I got, voila, the orange one. <laughs> so, um, woohoo! I'm excited about this. This is interesting yarn. This is, like... My camera is not fancy focus camera, <laughs> but uh, it's not like regular yarn. It's like braided, kind of like a cord or something. Um, what is that cord used that people make bracelets out of? I can't remember. Paracord or something like that. It's kind of like that, but it's still super soft. It is Vitalana. Vitalana Aloft. This color is called Tiger Lily, <laughs> which makes me think of Peter Pan. So, Wendy, hi. <laughs> if you're watching this, Wendy lady. 48% uh, merino wool, 20% alpaca, baby alpaca, and 32% organic cotton. That's an interesting blend. Wool, alpaca, and cotton. 
DK weight, 274 yards each. There's two of them. And then it's got the needle stuff and the care suggestions, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. We just want the color. It's color is a little bit lighter than it's showing. It's the windows open. So nature. Okay, he had an accident, but that's okay. <laughs> that's just part of life as a toddler. Be quiet, Mama. I can't be quiet. I'm filming a video. I'll be done in a few minutes though, okay? Be quiet. And then we'll sit outside. We gotta water the plants soon. You can help mama. But I gotta get yeah, using your water can, but let mama finish, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll get the big one, you get the bigger one. Okay, in a little bit. My mommy's gotta finish filming real fast. So just play for a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> the extra this month, they said, by the way, that there's gonna be an extra every month now. Uh, I guess people really like the extras. There's a tape measure for tape measure, and it's like fabric um, coated. Kind of looks like, yeah, it's like a Christmas theme, which I'm okay with. <laughs> I love Christmas, but it's got a Christmas tree on it and snow. Uh, I'm totally okay with that because I love Christmas. But it's just one of those regular, like, it's probably white under there where you push the button and it comes back. This is actually perfect because I had one of these. What, I had two of them, actually, and then a regular tape measure. My regular, like, the sewing kind, Jesse broke. My One of my ones like this, Jesse broke. And then my other one, I made a turtle cover for it on the video a while ago and then I lost it. I have no idea where it's at. It could be anywhere. Jesse probably broke it too. <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Keeping that. And then the book, which I'm not going to go into huge detail about because everybody else has already made videos for it. But it's got the patterns in there and all that jazz. So yeah. I have a knit crate link if you're interested. You can check it out below. And um, yeah. I think I am going to go ahead and do a giveaway this video though. It's going to be a secret giveaway. It's not going to be in the title. It's going to be for the people who actually watch me. So, um, it's going to be Knit Crate Yarn too. It's just going to be the green ones from a few months ago. They're up there. I was going to have them part of a big giveaway and then I just never got around to doing it. Keeping the orange ones though because those are pretty. Um, so yeah. If you want to enter the giveaway that's hidden, <laughs> uh, for, it's two hanks of, I think DK weight, maybe finger weight, but I think it's DK weight. Um, Knit Crate Yarn. Uh, it's a green color. <laughs> Uh, just leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite color combination is of two colors. Um, you know, like if you like black and white together or whatever. Just your favorite color combo of two colors. Or three. Two or three. You know, just your favorite color combinations. My favorite color combinations, I actually have an example right here, are greens and blues. I love greens and blues together. It's really nature-y and uh, especially watery and I love water uh also be a subscriber of course <laughs> uh i can check to an extent if you have your settings on private i can't check so i have to assume you're not so not uh you have to have not private settings and then be a subscriber <laughs> but yeah just give me color combinations that are your favorite below don't mention the giveaway either um because you know i want it to be for people who actually watch me not for just random giveaway searcher people but yeah all right Last thing I have to talk about is Etsy shop bags. <laughs> if you're interested, if you're not, you can go ahead and leave. I have a bunch of bags in my Etsy shop right now. Can you find it? No, it's hiding. It's not in the butter holder. There it is, I found it. Yeah, yeah, you found it as soon as I came to help you. Go drink it. Okay. All right. It's a bag, it's a bag. Alright, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get them all situated. Alright, uh, these are the bags that are currently in my shop. I have some more material cut, I just haven't got around to sewing it. Life. Alright, let's start with these. These ones actually remind me of Holly at the proper pineapple. They're box bottom, which means the bottoms are boxed. <laughs> uh, they're pineapples, I think they're just pink on the inside. They have my label. Somewhere over there. <laughs> They're drawstring, and they come with um, Notion zipper bags, which are also pink on the inside. Yes, and they have different labels in them. <laughs> I have two sets of those in the shop currently. And then let's see, let's get all the box bottle ones out of the way. I have two sets of panda bears. Right down there. Really? Yeah. Those are panda bears. It's like a family snuggling. Also boxed. Pink also. <laughs> Had a lot of pink material. But their little cheeks are pink, so I thought it went good. 
and they also have an ocean mag. Then this is the last boxed bottle, and it is I have one set of uh, alpacas, almost said llamas, alpacas, and cactuses. I think it's just brown on the inside. And again, it has a ocean pouch. <laughs> and then I have these are sacks. This is a birch tree um, bark, I guess. It's big. The sack ones are always bigger because it takes a, a few inches off to make the box bottom. And it also has a notion pouch. I think it's white on the inside. And then I have this flowery one. I love this print. It's really pretty. I like the colors. I think it's it's pink on the inside. <laughs> with its pouch and then the last set, I love this set, <laughs> that I have in my shop is limbs Can I give you some water? hold on a minute with orange like marbly I'll get, that. I'll get you some water to play with in just a minute okay I will go get and um no bag which I think is the same yes orange Orange, orange. I didn't put a label on that. I gotta put a label on that. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all the bags that's currently in the shop. I do have some going up soon. I was gifted some material and I already got it all cut. I just haven't sewed it. <laughs> and I gotta, no, put the butter back. You don't need the butter. <laughs> no, the fridge. Yeah, you always look at the butter. I don't know why he always looks at the butter. But yeah. So I think it's. You don't need anything out of the refrigerator. You got water. Um, I think that's everything to talk about this episode. I think I covered almost everything that I needed to. So, I guess I will hop off because I gotta go outside and... You'll take a bath in a little bit. <laughs> I gotta go outside and water the plants, our garden, and um, play with Jesse and crochet some more. And then I gotta give him a bath and then I gotta watch some TV and probably go to bed. That's the plan for today. Uh, we went to see a puppet show today. I wanted to take pictures because I, I like adding little video clips of our life on the end of um, some of our videos. But there were just so many kids there. So many kids that I didn't feel comfortable filming because, you know, I didn't want to put someone else's kid on there. What are you doing? Put the mustard up. Is it good? Mommy don't like mustard. He just squirted mustard on I his hand. Like put it back in the refrigerator and show Mustard's it. my favorite. Okay, just put it back in the refrigerator. It's got to stay cold. Uh, I'm not editing this out. Yeah, put it in there. It's got to stay cold until it's empty. Put it back in there, okay? And shut the refrigerator. You're letting all the air out. I'm going to have to go get him in a minute. But it was so cool. It was space themed. And it was talking about like how close summer is to ending days wise. It's like 54 days until school starts back here. Uh, That's lime juice. <laughs> but it was fun. I took him and Kat, the girl that we sit, they had fun. My leg went to sleep because I'm I'm 29, but I'm too old to be sitting in Indian style on the floor for an hour. My whole leg went to sleep and uh, I couldn't feel it at all. I was like, I don't even know what's going on. It could be broken for all I know and I wouldn't feel it. <laughs> but um, we went shopping, got some books and some Father's Day gifts. <laughs> He's playing with the button. Bobby, you gotta shut the refrigerator or all the food's gonna get hot. <laughs> Father's Day is Sunday, so happy Father's Day if you're a father, or if you act a father, or if you have a father, or whatever, you know, whatever, happy Father's Day to whoever associates with that. I hope you all have a good Father's Day if you're having, if you got plans. I got plans to make, I'm going to make Devin a steak dinner, and we don't really do gifts for each other for anything, really, <laughs> except Christmas. Um, so, uh, we'll, we'll just have a nice dinner and hang out together as a family. And, um, let's see here, Wednesday, this next coming week, the 19th, which actually was my dad's birthday. Uh, he passed away in 2013 of cancer, but his birthday was June 19th. But, uh, this June 19th <laughs> is my second year anniversary on YouTube, so that's pretty cool. That's been, it'll be two whole years, uh, this June 19th, this coming Wednesday, that I've been on YouTube. <laughs> it's crazy, it doesn't seem like it's been that long time, that long, but it also seems like it's been forever. Jesse Dwayne! Yes, but you don't need it right now. You need to shut the refrigerator. <sighs> I gotta get him because he's letting all the hair out. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.